What is up fellow monkeys, Manny here, welcome back to the channel. It's time for another round of climbing specific training in the gym, on the rings actually. And it's been a long time since I made my ring session for Softies episode as you guys probably know. And I thought it's time to make a continuation for that actually, with some a little bit harder exercises and some progressions. What do I mean with that um, exercises which are going to help you to progress from these beginner um, kind of uh, exercises to already more intermediate or advanced exercises which I'm going to show you in this episode. But before we start, as always, with climbing specific training in the gym, it makes sense to get a proper warm-up in. What I always do is some easy to medium medium difficulty climbing moves, you know, on the 45er, with some good steepness to get my upper body going. And after that, I continue with some push-ups and pull-ups just to really warm up my upper body thoroughly. All the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, and also the core a little bit. All this has to be kind of warmed up before we start hitting these more intermediate to advanced exercises. So the first progression that I want to show you in this episode is one that leads to the fly. The fly is actually a pretty classic ring move and a lot of people struggle with it. So let's take a look at how we can um, actually achieve this one. I would start off with some pretty standard push-ups actually. Just normal push-ups, not really beautiful form like here. And once you get that done, once you get comfortable with that, try to get into a more parallel push-up style um, form like you can see it here. As you can see, my elbows and upper arms are parallel with my upper body. And this makes the push-up a little bit harder and it makes it also more cleaner. You get a more clean training stimulus in, in my opinion. Once you get comfortable with that, you can start trying flies on your knees. And of course that makes it easier, but I think it's a pretty nice way of getting the feeling for the fly movement into your body. It's really hard on your chest actually, so you might want to prepare your chest a little bit for this high stimulus by doing it on the knees basically. So when we take a look at this from the front, try to pay special attention to my arms. Are they really 100% symmetric? I don't think so. My right arm is a little bit more bent than my left arm usually most of the times and that's one of the cool things of filming yourself when doing these moves because you can pretty easily spot mistakes in your form. So yeah, try to pay attention that your arms stay symmetric while doing this. The next exercise of the progression would be these archer push-ups and yeah, I gotta tell you they are already quite intense, especially if you do them on the feet and not on the knees. You can of course do them on the knees as well if you want to get a bit of an easier feel for this movement. As you can see, always one arm is doing the kind of fly part of the movement and the other arm is doing kind of a parallel push-up thing. And again, try to execute a clean form. As you can see here, my push-up arm, when I get tired, becomes more and more kind of a normal push-up form. But try to stay parallel, actually. Try to give your best executing a clean form here. And the next exercise would actually be the flies already. As you can see here, simply get your feet as close together as possible and perform clean uh, movements when you do these flies. And pay attention to my arms again. They are not 100% symmetric, I think. Again, the right arm is a little bit more bent than the left one, but I think it's quite okay. So here you can see the same thing from the side. Um, try to keep a straight body, keep your body as straight as possible basically. That, try to don't get tucked between your legs and upper body because this happens as well quite often when you get tired. Um, and yeah, really use your full range of motion here. Touch the floor with your nose if you can. And this is of course not the final destination when it comes to difficulty. You can even um, increase it from there by doing these diagonal flies. As you can see, one arm goes to the front, one arm goes to the, to the back, and these are the killer, I tell you. And actually the hardest variation, in my opinion, are these Superman flies, so to say, where both arms go to the front and you kind of try to touch, your, touch the floor with your nose. I gotta tell you, this burns in the abs, it's incredible, these, uh, Superman flies, they really roast your abs. As you can see here, both arms to the front. Actually, you can do this in a cleaner form as well. As you can see, my arms are not fully straight there and my upper body is not fully, um, I don't know, fully laying on the ground. 
Um, yeah, but it's hard enough. It was hard enough for me. I only could do three repetitions or, st or something. Then I had to rest, basically. And I don't know, three sets and my abs were crushed, I tell you. Alright, so for the next progression we gotta clarify how to actually hang in the rings and this counts as well for the pull-up bar by the way. You don't want to hang completely loose in your um, kind of static structures like elbows and shoulders because this is quite dangerous when it comes to injuries. So you always want to be a little bit engaged with your muscles so that your muscles actually carry the weight as you can see here. So the next progression that I want to tackle in this episode is one that leads to the front lever or more precisely the front lever ups and front lever negatives which is kind of the stepping stone I would say to actually get the, the really clean front lever done I think. And what we want to start with are these knee raises here. Pretty simple exercise, just bring your knees to the chest and yeah, simply go down again, go back up again until it burns quite uh, horrendously in your abs I would say. And the next step in this progression is actually the leg raises. The leg raises, they are already quite um, intense I would say on the abs. Pay attention that you stay as straight as possible in the upper body arm line. As you can see, as I'm getting more tired, I'm moving more and more with my upper body as well. And this is actually, you would think that it makes uh, the, the exercise harder, but it's actually making it easier and it's relieving your abs. And that's what we actually want. We want to train the abs. So try to stay as straight as possible. Being flexible actually helps uh, quite a lot for this as well, as you can imagine. Here you can see a little bit more precisely how to not do it. Don't use your upper body too much for this. Um, stay straight in the upper body arm line and also don't push your uh, legs behind beyond the rings actually. Simply touch the rings if possible and go back down again. And the next step in this progression are already the front lever ups themselves. As you can see, I'm not able to um, perform them in a 100% clean fashion, clean form still. I'm still working on that. But I think you get the point. You just have to basically try to stay completely straight in your whole body from the head to the toes. And then pushing yourself upwards with your arms straight as well. That's basically how it goes and I tell you this is destroying you not only in the abs but also in the lats and yeah basically in your whole in your whole upper body it's kind of amazing actually and once you get that done once you get comfortable with that you can also try to make these kind of front lever negatives and what I want you to pay attention to is here that I actually try to deliberately make it especially straight make my upper body especially straight before I go down because I always have the feeling that you are um, a little bit less straight than you think you know you know, you don't see yourself when you do these exercises. And if you have the feeling, ah, okay, I'm kind of straight there, you're still a little bit bent in your ass usually. And that's why you have to pay special attention to being completely straight before going down. Then try to hold the position as long as possible. Try to go down as slowly as possible and then go, go back up. I'm telling you, I got completely roasted by these. And the final exercise that I want to show you in this tutorial is a thing that I discovered just recently. It's actually quite awesome and a stepping stone for the Iron Cross actually and that is the Assisted Iron Cross. So what you're gonna need for this is a kind of a kind of a pretty strong rubber band like a Terra band but as you can see the things that I'm using here are quite sturdy, they are quite thick and they also put a lot of support on your feet. And as you can see here, you simply perform these iron cross negatives or iron cross ups, however you want to call them, assisted iron cross. And the um, advantage of doing it that way is that by going down, you're actually increasing the support that you get from the rubber band. And this is actually also the moment, the, the moment actually where you need the most support when you're at the lowest point. So that's kind of amazing that really enables you to um, train the, the full range of motion basically of the Iron Cross 
I would only recommend this exercise for advanced athletes because it's quite intense actually on your lats, not only on your lats and on your whole muscle apparatus basically in the upper body but also on your joints like shoulders and elbows so they are under heavy attack while doing this and of course they are under even heavier attack when you're doing the actual iron cross at some point but I'm still far from that I gotta tell you guys so so that's already it for this training tutorial guys i hope you've got something from it i actually have a few more um exercises for advanced gym rats on the rings but i figured i don't want to make this episode too long and i think i'm going to release these other exercises in another episode in the future so yeah drop some likes and opinions as always if you've got something from the episode i would appreciate it and by the way guys this workout is going to completely roast your abs when i woke up the next day in the bed i basically couldn't believe it because the pain was pretty severe to say the least so don't worry it's completely normal the pain will, the pain will go away at some point all right guys that being said have a good training and i'll see you in the next episode bye Oh, uh -huh.